This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Our goal with our videos is to empower you to be able to do the repairs on your own and save a whole lot of money and also get that great feeling of having fixed it by yourself. We're taking a Bosch dishwasher out of the cabinet. We just turned the water all the way off and we got it unplugged from underneath the, underneath the cabinet, underneath the sink. We're removing a couple of screws here on the kick panel. Usually, usually these are either Phillips head or Torx 15 screws. Now we're loosening up the um, water line with a pair of pliers, getting that off. And I'm going to be putting in a new circulation motor, so I'm also removing these three Torx 15 screws from the lower right hand side. And I'll also remove them from the lower left hand side. And I'm sorry I don't have all the footage of the circulation pump repair. We just have a little, little bit of it. But I mainly wanted to show you how you can get the dishwasher out of the cabinet. So you got to make sure, again, it's unplugged. Make sure that you've disconnected the water. And we did take off the water line with a pair of pliers here in the front by turning lefty-loosey. You get that water line off. And usually you have to take out a couple of screws that are holding the top of the dishwasher up into the cabinet. They're typically Phillips head screws. And once you get those out, you can take, uh, sometimes you need to take a standard head screwdriver and kind of pry, pry off to the side. Since I'm doing the circulation pump too, I'm going to take out the filter assembly and I'm going to use a tricky baster to get all the water out of the sump. And I'm going to be removing these screws here so I can remove the sump. Now, if you're just pulling it out of the cabinet for other reasons, you don't have to remove these screws. This is just for when you're going for the circulation motor. It is good, though, to get the water out with a turkey baster if you're going to do any kind of a repair on your dishwasher, because usually you want to light on its side or on its back, and you don't want water to drip out. So you're trying to get rid of all the water. Standard head screwdriver helps me to kind of pry it out, and I'm going to wiggle it out toward me. And sometimes there's enough drain line where you can get it out easily, and sometimes you have to still re you have to still disconnect the drain line from underneath the sink. This one does not go to a garbage disposer; it just goes right to the sink drain. So I'm going to be pulling this one off so I can have a little bit more drain line uh, when I pull the dishwasher out. For the circulation motor, I ended up putting the dishwasher on its back. And again, I'm sorry, I don't have the footage, but this is the circulation motor impeller that it was broken. I just spun it off. And then I'm taking off this assembly. And there's a kit that you get that comes with a new impeller and a new um, O-ring and also a couple of new seals. Sometimes the circulation impeller breaks and it can no longer push water around. That's what happened on this one. You can hear the motor trying though. So I'm going to take this old seal off and put the new one on, on the motor shaft. And again, this is not anything to do with removing it from the dish from the cabinet. This is just showing a little bit of the circulation motor repair. I have to push out this seal using a standard head screwdriver. I'm going to push the old one out. There it goes. And then on the new one, what I'd like to do is clean up the area that it's going to go into. And I'm going to put a little bit of hand soap on the outside of the rubber seal just to help it be lubricated so it can fit in a little bit better. And the seal I'm working with now is kind of spring-loaded, so it's a bit fragile. I got the hand soap on there to make it slippery, and I'm going to gently push it in with two thumbs. I'll change my position, push it in a little bit deeper, change again, push it in a little bit deeper. I just don't want to break it, but I want to have it firmly seated in there before I put it back on the motor. I'll use the uh, hand soap, too, to put it on the O-ring and all of the <clears> rubber <throat> surfaces so that it's easier to reassemble. I'm going to put some hand soap on this 
rubber boot, this is where the circulation motor hooks into the heater housing. And also on this part of the boot, so I'm just getting everything lubricated. And that's going to make uh, reassembly a lot easier. It's just slippery hand soap, putting some on the O-ring. Seal looks good. Making sure again it's fully seated in there as far as it'll go. And then I'll put that back on to the motor and then I'll spin the impeller on to it. When you put this one back on, it goes onto the motor and then you turn it and it clicks into position. You turn it to your right or clockwise. Just play with it until it, you get it to where it can easily drop back in. And there's a nice circulation motor working. I'm sorry we didn't have all the footage, but just wanted to show you how to get the dishwasher out. So thanks so much for watching and please subscribe when you get a chance. Thanks again.